hello YouTube man Malaysia or whoever knows me yeah SM Cube Indah this is a review about my cubes collection I already made one but it's not as I think it's not good enough and I already made a new one so I decided I, I delete my old videos and I make a new one yeah okay for we'll start from the small one I made a, this one by one cube yeah it's pretty dumb to solve it yeah if you want to make one I recommend you to watch the, the video on me myself and Pi yeah he's quite good but he used Legos I use the corner piece of a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube yeah uh, the stickers I take for my yeah my broken cube <clears throat> okay next is my 2x2 two two. Uh, this is the Rubik's brand yeah I do not recommend you to buy Rubik's brand cube I recommend you to buy Ishin cube they're quite good or V cube if you have one um, yeah this cube is broken to uh, some part in this cube is missing I put up the Rubik's uh, sign sticker I want because I want to make the the cute one to make the cute meat sticker but I made it myself uh, I will make a tutorial on how to make one next is my 3x3 I use it for speed cube it's not really good but I don't know why I always get the greatest time using this cube this is a store bought cube yeah okay, uh, as you can see I made a cute smith sticker, yeah. And it doesn't really cut corners very well and not good for one handed. You get tired very fast. Okay, next my Rubik's 4x4. I'm still looking for the Ishin brand. Uh there's a, my one of my friends said there's one at the uh, one Utama. But I don't know when I'm gonna go there. It's quite far from my house. Really far. Yes. Next, my Rubik's 5x5. Yeah, I, I actually didn't try my 5x5 because I took a very long time, about 10 to 15 minutes to solve it. Uh, 4x4 is the, about 3 minutes. Yeah. Mm, and next, my Siamese cube. Okay. I made mean, this um, this one I bought from the Toy City KLCC and this one I bought from Kafuang Pang this one is 12 ringgit and this is uh, 20 ringgit yes um, it cut corners very well better than the Rubik's brand cube really you know if you're from Malaysia and you don't have money to buy online I recommend you to buy this one from this is from Toxicity, this is from Kafu. Any Kafu have it. Have one this. Yeah. I do recommend it. Next is my 3x3x5 cube. Yeah. Uh, actually the method is the same uh, on how to solve the 3x3 uh, three three, because I just glue this one. This doesn't actually work. See? No, you can't move this one and in, in this one also. <coughs> yeah, some but sometimes if you solve it, it's quite confusing. You will get shape like this one. Yeah, shape like this one, and you get confused. Yeah, whatever. Uh, this is a dancing cube. This is another cube that I recommend for a speed cube. Okay, but yeah. Whatever. and my Rubik's magic yeah, my average is like uh, two seconds mm -hmm. it's uh, 40 ringgit I think yeah and my pyramids yeah. I bought this at, uh, at the price of 19 ringgit and 90 cents but uh, this thing pops a lot I don't know why I watch many people's video they don't pop but mine pops see I just speed cube this one and it's pop yeah wow 
Let's leave it there. And uh, so that's it. Mm hmm. Now this is all my cute collection. So um, you have. If you have uh, enough money, so please don't buy the Rubik's Break Cube, buy Ishin brand, or if you want to buy the 3 by 3 you buy the DIY one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, another thing I want to mention that um, just give me a minute. A second. Yeah. This is my new cube. I bought it at the night market, uh, Bandar Rampang. It's only for ninety cents. This is a big three by three cube. You see, it's bigger than the normal three by three, but it has an equal size to the four by four Rubik's Break cube. Oh, let's unwrap this one. That's a big cube. Oh, it's shitty. No, I can't even move it with one hand. It's very stiff. Yeah, wait un until I lube it. <laughs> okay. See, oh, it's big, man. See, you compare it to the power it's equal size. It is much smaller. See? Oh. So yeah, that's my puzzle collection.